hi guys good afternoon welcome to another video so yesterday the president gave a speech and basically called off lockdown temporarily and i found it quite odd because number one the pandemic is still ongoing number two there is no vaccine there's no cure yet so uh, why is the ban being lifted yes i know it has affected businesses and it has really taken a dip into the economy but I'm thinking, okay, people are complaining because of funds and everything, and so you make everyone go back to work, which would most definitely increase the spread of the virus. Like, it's a given. The more people are moving about, the more the virus will be moved and transmitted and spread and multiplied amongst people. And if we are to fall into a pandemic, even with lockdown we could still record spread of this virus now imagine what's going to happen now that the ban is lifted and everyone is free roaming about you should see the streets of Accra it's busy as heck people are moving about i came out because i had lots of things to do first of all i needed to go to the hospital and other very important things that i needed to do yes there are lots of people in Accra moving around with face masks but some some of us don't have access to a mask um the last time i went to a pharmacy they sold one mask for 10 CDs. You can imagine what face mask, one is 10 CDs. And it's even, there's a shortage. So even getting your hands on it is a problem to start with. And it's not reusable, mind you. So once I use it, that's it. I'm done. I can't use it again. And I'm like, okay, people have to go back to work because it's affecting the economy. But then if thousands of people contract this virus and, you know, it becomes crazy where there are millions of people with it and the hospitals are choked and everything isn't that going to have a more detrimental effect on the economy in the president's address he said it's a partial lift to the lockdown so churches are not allowed social gatherings clubs restaurants you know how people are business will go back to normal business as usual i need to show you guys around i'm seated in front of the mtn office because i needed to do something here but you need to see the Oxford Street. It's like nothing is happening in the world. I mean, when I went to the MTN office, they took my temperature. I, I was giving hand sanitizer. They are trying to practice social distancing and all of that. So guys, I'm very worried. In a bit to try to curb one problem. I hope we don't end up with an even bigger problem because if thousands of people become sick, and hospitals are choked, it's going to have a very detrimental effect on the economy regardless so i don't know which is better whether it is better for us to all stay indoors and not go anywhere and reach, flatten the curve or go back to work thousands of people contract the disease the hospitals are true people are dying left right and center and the economy suffers let's just hope that the president and you know his people they know what they are doing in the meantime let me show you what osuas street looks like today the lockdown was lifted yesterday and it's like boom <laughs> back to normal as you were business as usual let me show you guys around And the one that baffles me the most is this very funky is the Ankara mask, the Ankara face mask. I don't know if people don't understand. They think it's a business avenue. But I'm even wondering how is this medical grade and how will it what impact will it have? Can it protect you at all? Or is it just a fabric? hey guys welcome back to my channel so we are making Ghanaian jollof rice it looks so 
yummy um this period being at home just makes you cook eat cook eat cook and eat i don't know what i'm going to weigh by the time this corona season is over but anyway i'm making Ghanaian jollof rice with the help of my lovely friend lady she's helping me make this and i'll just show you guys the steps and trust me this food is really yummy so let's get started okay so the first thing we did here was to slice the onions and clean it out for blending so basically we used i think two large sized onions um, make sure to wash with salt water you know the tuna season you have to really pay attention to hygiene and keep all your food items very clean so right here we're cleaning it out and we'll chop them into smaller chunks later on Now that we're done cleaning it out, we're going to slice them into smaller pieces like I said, into a blender and for this mix I think we added two um, cloves of garlic to be blended. We're moving swiftly to um, sausage. This is a very popular sausage brand here in Ghana. It's called Sadia, and I think it goes for seven series, um, six series, depending on where you get it from. So we're just dicing it into smaller pieces, not so small to where you can't find it anymore in the food, but small enough, you know, for it to be mixed into the rice. it's fried it doesn't take that long like basically two minutes you just take it out and put it into a sieve to drain excess oil and we're back to the onion mix for blending I'm cleaning out the cloves you know with a knife and put it in to be blended I'm setting up my blender and please add a little bit of water into your mix so that um, it will make it easier for you to blend it basically. Once that's blended, we're going to pour it into um, vegetable oil. Um, we just scooped the excess oil from uh, our tomato stew. That's why you can see that red coloring. So this oil is red hot and switch on the gas and we start frying the garlic and onion paste we just blended. I'm going to fry this for about five to ten minutes make sure it's really really fried nicely
when it's properly fried you just stir it in now it's time to add our tomato paste i am we're using the big size because we're actually making um, a sizable amount of jollof rice it's time to spice our mix so right here we're adding generous amount of dry pepper blended dry pepper i'm stirring the mix properly then we move on to curry powder you can use any brown of your choice we add a generous amount as well next we use onga stew seasoning just one sachet and we stir the mix and onga shrimp cube seasoning cube we're using two large sizes for this we're going to stir it the idea is to slightly or kind of over spice your sauce or your base because when you're cooking jollof rice it tends to lose some of its tastes and you'll see why later so that's rosemary we added and oh i lost the footage where we poured in the rice perfumed rice but basically you can use any perfumed rice of your choice pour it in to where it looks like this you don't want um the rice to be so much that you lose all the sauce you wouldn't get that nice juicy red jollof rice so just stir the mix and we'll let it simmer for an extra five minutes as you can see now that we are back um it's cooked nicely most of the sauce is drying so the thing with jollof rice the secret behind good jollof rice not just any jollof rice is you have to keep on stirring literally you have to come back over and over and over again till the rice is cooked that's the secret okay so each time you come back to stir it you notice that the sauce has dried up a bit more and yeah you keep staring and staring and staring we're back again and this sauce is basically rosemary um, ginger garlic onions blended together and fried this was supposed to be added initially with the tomato sauce but we forgot but it doesn't harm anything you can still add it at this point um since the rice is still not uh, completely cooked yet so we're just adding that into the mix and stirring it another thing with jollof rice is the base of your rice is going to get burnt no matter what even if you're using a non-stick pan like we're using right here So just cover the rice and you're going to let it sit for another five minutes and then you return back to stir <laughs> oh guys the secret to good yellow rice is what stir <laughs> At this point when all the sauce is more or less dried it's time to get a clean napkin to cover the pot and allow it to cook and after a few minutes you come back and check on it as per usual now the reason why we are doing this is at this point we've lost all the moisture or all the water that would help cook the rice to make it soft and tender so you need to mimic a pressurized cooker and cover the pot so that the heat will be trapped inside and it will help to soften the rice some people use um, polythin nylon i don't recommend it because it's not healthy so it's best to get a napkin clean napkin and use that instead
clothes are done stirring as you can see the napkin itself is becoming damp because the heat that is supposed to escape is being trapped and is helping to cook the rice and make it nice and soft we're back again and you can see that our rice is looking almost ready it's soft it's yummy make sure you stir properly and make sure you level it after you're done At this point you want to taste your jollof rice and see the softness if you're okay with it and if you're not um, you don't just put ordinary water this water has been mixed with salt so that it doesn't lose its taste because it's very easy for jollof rice Canadian jollof rice to lose its taste in the cooking process so it's recommended to use salted water what happens most times is if you don't do that your jollof rice will look Would look very red but will be tasteless so yeah we are almost done um, just go back in to check on the rice stay properly make sure that the water you added is being spread evenly around the rice Now it's time to add our sausage. We are pretty much done with cooking this jello rice. You taste it, it's soft enough. We add the sausage, we stir it nicely, and yeah, you leave it for just a few minutes, not too much because the food is ready. And it's time to serve it into our packaging or serving bowl. <laughs> it's time to serve our jollof rice our jollof rice is ready yummy and ready to go so we're just packing it out and serving it into a plastic bowl for storage
this is the yummy jollof rice my goodness i can't tell you guys how tasty this is and yeah if you like this video please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in my next one thank you so much for watching bye guys please stay safe in this rona season and stay at home bye